Before you get started with the lesson, let me give you a quick overview of how to use this series of videos. This is a series that covers Microsoft Office 2013 using documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. I'm a teacher. I work in Tolleson, Arizona at a high school called Westview High School. These assignments are selected to be exactly like what you would do in the real world. So using Office is what you'll use in a real office or in a real business. There is an assignment book that accompanies every video. Each page in the assignment book has a checklist of the things that you should accomplish in each lesson. Watch the video lesson to see how things are done. After you create your own document using the video as a model, you may have some modifications such as your own business names or your own paragraphs or your own data, but it'll look very similar. Now you can either watch the whole video through at one time or pause it as you go through it. Finally, print the document and your classroom teacher will grade it. So now, let's move on to your next assignment. Welcome to assignment number two for Microsoft PowerPoint. What you see on the screen is the finished four slides from a PowerPoint that is taken from a document you made way back in Microsoft Word. You see slide number two includes a graph of some statistics. Three was about different cities in Europe, and slide four was our pie chart. Just to refresh your memory, I'm going back into Microsoft Word and to show you the European sales report assignment that we completed a while ago. And so these items that we copy and paste come right out of our document called sales report. So let's go back to PowerPoint, start a new slideshow, and just copy and paste the items. So here we are at the title screen for Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm going to choose a blank document and we'll start by copying and pasting the items from our Word document. I switch to Word and I'm going to copy the title, right click and copy. Switch back into Publisher, or excuse me, into PowerPoint and paste. I have an extra blank line so I'll just press delete. Let's go to a new slide. So now on this page I would like to insert the graph from Microsoft Word. We could copy and paste it, but I'm going to show you a drag and drop option. So let's go back to Microsoft Word. And the document here shows this graph here, the sales report. Now I'm going to go to the top right corner and choose the second to the last button. Notice it says restore down. What that does when I click it is it creates a windowed Microsoft Word. So I can slide it around. This allows me to see behind it and see the PowerPoint presentation. So I'm just going to take this presentation, grab it by the edge, and drag it over to this window. And it shows up here as an embedded object. Now I don't need this frame behind where it says click to add some text. So I'm going to click the edge of it and press the delete key on the keyboard. And so now I should be able to grab the edge of my sales report and drag it to the proper place on the screen, resizing it. Let's go to a new slide and let's go back into Word to see what we're looking for next. What we'd like next is this chart of the top total cities by sales. Let's copy this item. So highlighting all of the numbers, right click in the center and choose copy. This time we're just going to click, right click, and paste. This looks like a good title, so let's highlight the top cities by total sales and drag it into where it says title. Delete the second line, which is a blank line, and it looks like this one's ready to go. Another new slide, and let's go get this circle graph. So back to Microsoft Word, and let's take the graph or the chart they call them, and drag it over. And let's slide this, oops, I don't want to change the size. Let's grab it by the edge, slide it over. And you also re might remember that we had a chart here of the numbers that we put into our pie chart. So I'm going to click on the plus 
in the corner, which selects the entire thing. Right click and copy. Come back to this. Right click and paste. And now we have another piece of our data. Let's put our name on the front and you can change any styles if you want different fonts or you can just print it as it is.